So I'm going to plug this in and initialize the dryer, and then I'm going to do a direction test. So I've got my switch, my gear switch in the up position. Okay, so it, it'll turn on in heading hold. You don't have to turn it on in heading hold, but uh, if I have a gyro that's set up for heading hold, I like to do that because I can see the light on at the end. So I'll plug in the battery, keep everything still. Okay, so you should be able to see that the light is on on the gyro, okay? And the tail is not drifting. Okay, so it has uh, initialized. So right now I've got this uh, airplane set up so that when I flip the, the gear switch, um, this is heading hold and this is rate. So in heading hold, it's going to be really easy for me to tell if my tail is set up, if the gyro is in the correct reverse position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me move the camera in position, as I push on the tail, the rudder should, uh, should go left on me. So I'm going to push and you can see the rudder has gone away from me. Okay. When I pull, it comes towards me. This is very easy. Get on one side of the plane, push and the tail should go away from you. Pull and it should come towards you. Push away, pull towards you. Okay. And when, if it's doing that, then that means that I have the, uh, the, the gyro reverse setting correctly. The reverse setting that I'm talking about is on the gyro itself. Okay? That's not on the, the reverse setting of the, gyro, the, the rudder channel or the gear switch on the transmitter. You must check this before you take off. Otherwise, what's going to happen is that as soon as you start moving and, uh, and it senses movement, it's going to instantly just start turning on you all by itself. It'll just spin It'll just start turning out of control. You'll try to go right, it'll just jump all the way to the left on you. That means that you've got the gyro reverse setting incorrectly. Once again, after you've initialized the gyro, I like to do this every single flight. I'll take the airplane and I'll push on the tail away from me and I'll make sure that the tail is moving away, pull and it's coming towards me. That tells me that the gyro is working. Now since I started all this with gains of 100%, the tail was moving uh, quite a bit. That's really good on setup to do it that way so that you can really tell what's going on with that control surface. But we're going to go ahead and test my setup in the actual plane. Um, I've got it in uh, the heading hold position with 30 gain and when I push on the airplane the tail moves away from me. It doesn't move a lot. Okay. So that 30% gain is, is not a lot. It's enough to make small movements. Okay. And when I have it switched to the uh, rate mode, which is uh, a low gain of rate, it's, the light is off. Once again, that's heading hold. And that's uh, rate mode with a low gain that's off. When I move the tail, the rudder essentially does nothing. Okay. That's that means that the gyro is off. But when I move the stick, it still moves. Okay? When I let go of the stick with it in the off position, it comes back to center. You'll notice that in heading hold mode, when you move the stick to the far end and then you let go of it, it doesn't come back to center. That's heading hold. That's because I moved left and it's waiting for the airplane uh, to, to, then, to then move left. Okay? Now I can center that back up. Now if you're taxiing around in heading hold mode and you come in and then you're pointed straight down the runway and you start to take off, what's going to happen is that it's going to then yaw on you instantly. So if I switch it back to off and then back to heading hold, it's going to be centered up just like that. So when you're using the heading hold mode for takeoff, there is a, a sequence that you're going to need to follow for when you're taxiing. Um, there's different ways to do it. Um, one way basically to do it is a, is a taxi with it off. Uh, keep it off while you're taxiing and then when you're on just flip the switch and it's centered and, and then you're okay. Once you've taken off you gotta to take that heading hold mode off. Okay, otherwise it's gonna act really funny on you when it's flying. You're, you're gonna want to turn one way and the nose is gonna start to point its way up and it's gonna yaw on you when you, know, when you don't really want to do it or you're going to have to make coordinated turns the whole flight. 
um, a stall turner or, or hammerhead in heading hole mode isn't isn't very pretty at the end. It's going to uh, require extra uh, unnatural stick movements. Um, so once again, in heading hold and off mode, you're going to want to uh, set it to heading hold after you've uh, set it up on the runway. After you've made your takeoff, turn it off. And then uh, when you're about to land, as you're coming in and you got your heading, flip that switch for the heading hold, do your land, uh, and then turn it off. I'm going to show you how to take the uh, default configuration of rate and heading hold and then change that so that what you're going to have is rate and off. Off is basically a low gain for rate. So I'm going to go in here into the travel adjust. In some radios it's called endpoint or ATV. And for the gear channel, which is where the gain is set up, the gain is plugged in for the gyro. Positive is heading hold. With the switch down, I've got negative, which is rate mode. So once again, the light is off for rate mode. So I'm going to have that rate mode set up for a good place to start is about 30%. If you've already flown your plane without a gyro and you're going to try it in rate mode with a gyro, about 30% is a good place to start and then work your way up from there. Now for the off setting, I'm going to go over to where it's set up right now for heading hold. I'm going to lower that number down to zero. Okay, that's zero. Now, I'm not in rate mode yet because that light is on, so what I want to do is I want to go and switch to the sub-trim for the gear, and I am going to make it go down more until that light goes off. Okay, so the light just turned off, and it's going off at about 7, 8, okay? So I'm going to give it a couple clicks past the point where it turned off. Now... It, what it's going to be is basically it's going to be when the switch is, and let me bring it back to the travel adjust, when the switch is at plus it's going to be a low gain, low gain in rate mode and essentially the gyro will not affect the rudder, the gyro movement will not affect the rudder and then when I flip my switch down it's in the negative position there and it's going to have a 30% gain for rate. So what I can do is I can, uh, you can actually taxi um, in rate mode. That's not a problem. Uh, in many planes, you can actually fly in rate mode. But once you're up in the air and you've got airspeed, running in rate mode for the gyro really isn't going to do a lot for the tail. Um, it's probably going to work the servo harder than, it's, than, than needed. Uh, so what I have done and I've actually uh, test flown this Cub and I've flown it in rate mode I ended up with about an 80 percent gain and it flew really well um, flying in the air uh, I would I think it's best to turn the the gain off you're not working the gyro as much and then just as you're coming in and making your landing approach you can safely turn that rate mode uh, um, turn the gyro to rate mode on and have a pretty straight landing so one thing I'm going to show you here, let me pause the, uh, the recording. <clears throat> now one thing you have to do once you're, uh, you've done all your uh, setup in the transmitter and everything is make sure that the limit dial, that's uh, this dial right here in the gyro, okay, the first one here on, on the right, make sure that the limit gyro is set up correctly and to, to, to do that you want to be in the off position, or it could be in the heading hold position. You're going to want to move your stick all the way to each side and make sure it doesn't bind, that it doesn't go too far. So what I can do here is I can put the included screwdriver, okay, that's this here, and I can put it into there and I can turn that dial, and I'm going to do that while looking at the rudder just to show you how that works. I'm going to put the screwdriver in there. I'm going to go to full deflection and then I'm going to turn the dial. So the dial is going to adjust the maximum servo travel 
of that rudder okay so I'm just going to go to 100% because uh, I had my travel adjust set up for 100% in the transmitter when I flew this the last time anyway now since I have the gear switch set up so that I have a rate, rate mode or off when I flip the switch, the LED on the gyro is not going to be coming on. So it's only going to be blinking during initialization. Um, but since it's in rate mode, it really doesn't need to reset and center. But I do want to check to make sure that the gyro is responding correctly. So I'm going to put it in rate mode. And I want to still move that tail. Okay, you can see the gyro is moving when I'm moving the tail. Okay, It's not moving as much when I had a, a higher gain. Now, I've got this set up for about 80% gain right now because I have flown this airplane. Um, I know that it, uh, I don't have too much gain and it's given me the right amount of response. Uh, depending on plane to plane, it's going to have a different amount of gain. But every time I turn this on, I'm going to want to make sure that, number one, I've got it in rate mode right now, and when I move the stick, okay, it's still moving the rudder. Okay, the gyro should not stop the stick from controlling the rudder. If the gyro stops the stick from controlling the rudder, there's something wrong with the initialization. You want to power, power cycle it. But once again, before I fly, I'll push on that tail and the tail should move even further away from me. Pull, push, pull, push, okay? So that gyro is working. If I flip the switch to turn the gyro off and do that same test, the gyro is not doing anything to the tail, okay? You get a better view here. The gyro is not doing anything to that tail right now. Flip the switch back to rate mode, and now you can see that tail moving. Hopefully you can see it. And I've got some video of the, uh, the Cub in flight with the gyro. So this plane is all set up and ready to go uh, with the gyro installed. Um, I, in a separate video, I'm going to show some diff the different ways of setting up the, the, the switch. Um, and uh, also have a little demonstration of uh, how the gain uh, works and so forth for uh, some generic setups and other radios. So and look for that other video to be coming out um, uh, so that you can see how you would set up a switch to go to off and rate mode or heading hold and, hold and rate mode uh, and so forth. And I'll demonstrate uh, a little bit more on how the, uh, the gear switch really works for the gains. Okay, take off with gyro in rate mode. That was pretty good. Okay. Cecil, so we're landing! You better go around.